Hey guys, today we are doing a three color challenge and I say we because I have a special guest joining us. Her name is Bushkin and I hope you like her because she's gonna be in a lot of other videos. Deal with it. <laughs> anyway, so I have to draw a pineapple and I got a orange for my first color, which was good. Pineapples have orange in it. And then I drew a yellow, which was also good. Things were going great. Like, life was actually great for once. And then for my third color, of course I wanted a green. But, uh, of course I got brown. Because everyone just loves a good poop brown. But, you know, that's, that's beside the point. I decided to draw a sick pineapple. Because its leaves were all brown and wilty. As you can see from its face there, it was having a rough day. And um, this pineapple kind of reminds me like of a depressed Spongebob, which is sad. Everyone loves Spongebob. <laughs> but um, so I did this with Bushkin over text message. So um, it was kind of hard. <laughs> so don't judge. But when I, like, watched her videos, I guess she chose to draw two things and combine them together and then do the three-color challenge. That wasn't my fault. That wasn't her fault. It was miscommunication's fault. Not ours. But this is almost the end of my clip, so I'll leave you over to Hello. Bushkin. I am Bushkin. And I don't know if you've already seen Eustace's beautiful drawings or not. But basically, all we're doing, if she hasn't already explained, is you're picking like three things out of a, or two, I did two, two things out of a bowl. And then you have to draw them and put them together. Um, and I decided to shake the bowl until one flew out because, you know, that that's more fun. And I got pineapple and cat and I had to put those two together in a drawing. And I had to be like creative, so I... Yeah, I didn't really know what to do, but I improvised. Okay, so I first started out drawing the ears of the cat, and I didn't really know what I was doing. I just started drawing a cat to see if something would come to me, and eventually I had something in mind, like... You're about to see what it is, but basically I just started with the ears and messed up a lot and then finally got to now I wanted to be. And then I ended up doing like a pineapple body with cat legs and stuff. And that's a pineapple and then like the the leaves of the pineapple is the collar. So yeah, now I'm going to do the other thing. such good colors oh okay never mind um okay i'm gonna have to talk fast but basically i had two really good colors and then i had a green well, sort of green. And then I decided to start off with the leaves of the pineapple and do the green with the leaves of the pineapple. And then I realized that the orange brown and the light brown would kind of clash with each other. So I decided to just do the orange brown as the accents. And then I didn't have a yellow to do the pineapple. So I just decided to like shade half of it and like kind of do like an ombre effect. And that really didn't work out, but yeah. All right, I am back. We are back to me. And as you can see, I'm already starting to draw again. Hopefully you liked Bushkin's drawing because I did. It was beautiful. Now, for this drawing, I got a dinosaur, which, you know, was I was kind of excited for. Dinosaurs can be any color, so I was thinking, oh, this is going to be great. And I got a green for my first color, which was great. And then a pink, which was great. And, and then I got a black, which was great for outlining, you know? I was set. I was set for this drawing. It didn't go very well, so I started drawing what looked like a dog, <laughs> and then I changed the head, and it looked like something from the good dinosaur. Um, and I thought maybe it was just too cute or something, so I added a bunch of spikes, and <laughs> it was 
it was weird, but I ended up outlining in a flare pen because the other thing started to die. It's still black. It still counts. But as I was saying, I thought it looked too cute, so I added, like, the Pennywise things and, like, solid black eyes. <laughs> but it, it wasn't going good. Not to mention, I had the babiest colors in the world, so that was great planning. But I thought there was one thing that was missing here googly eyes honestly i think you could add googly eyes to anything and make the picture beautiful you know <laughs> i'll leave you to run hey so we had to change our location because like i had a soccer game or whatever and we had to like go to soccer game you know and then um so um i'm at my dad's house now and i had to get different stuff so i had like more crayons and a bigger selection and better lighting so that's always good but um basically i just decided to shake the words until they came out and the very first word i got was bumblebee and i thought a bumblebee was going to be so easy to draw it was the hardest to draw like i've never and i got monster but i've never had so much trouble drawing a bumblebee probably in my life so enjoy me struggling Okay, so here's the part where I messed up literally a million times. So I had to keep reading paper. I tried to flip the paper over, but then I realized you could see the back and the light. I finally ended up getting the right, sort of the right way, but then I forgot that it was supposed to be a monster bumblebee, and I basically just started drawing like a funny bumblebee, and then I had to erase basically all the happy traits of it and make it really mad and like kind of like a zombie, and then it has like this ooze coming off of it. I don't know why. I didn't know how to do it, so I just kind of made ooze off and then it has these little blue dots I, I don't know but that's what i made okay so this was the finished product of the um bumblebee monster i don't like it i'm not happy with it um it's definitely my least favorite one out of the two i didn't know bumblebee has had legs but like i, I didn't know how to draw the legs Oh my gosh, okay. All right, there we are, ending with another crumpled paper. I think I think that should be a thing from now on, but see you next time.